Welcome to part 7 of my Champions League jersey review. We're looking at Group G and of course we're looking at the holders. Um, but first off, it was really hard for me to decide which jersey I'm gonna wear for this one because there are two teams where I have jerseys in this group. It's of course Real Madrid, we have the white jersey here, and the Roma red jersey here. And yeah, for now I'm wearing the black Real Madrid away jersey, which is fitting as we will see. Uh, but I decided to switch halfway through the video and then go with a Roma jersey just so to have it evened out. So let's get right to it. There's actually quite a few interesting teams in there. It's not only Real Madrid and Roma, but two Eastern European teams. But we'll start off with, as I said, with the holders, with Real Madrid, where the home jersey is a really, really nice classic looking Real Madrid kit with the black uh, accents, which is really something that I like. Uh, I actually want to say I've seen this before. This reminds me so much of the early 2000s, even or even with the early 2010s, even with the collar. You know, you have the crew neck, but it has the buttoned opening. Um, maybe the black sleeve trim I haven't seen, and probably wish that it would have been all white. But other than that, as far as Real Madrid jerseys go, this is one is as perfect as it can be, and I think fitting for the holders. Um, I don't know now, I will check and probably make a comment in there. I think that the um, Club World Cup winners patch is still above the Adidas logo, which is a look I hate. I really wish it was here. Um, I will mention that in my, as I said, I will make a little blob here if I was wrong or right. And yeah, I think this is a nine star jersey. I'll stick with that. Not 100% perfect, but pretty darn close. The away jersey is also not too bad. It's black like this one here from the centenary season. I think we haven't seen a black Real Madrid away jersey in quite a while, which to me is almost the most reasonable color. As you know, it's the exact contrast color to white. So uh, what's more contrasting with white? It's of course black. There are, I'm checking my notes from the Primera División or La Liga, I still keep saying Primera División uh, review. There are a few things that I don't like. First off, the monochromatic crest. If you have a black jersey, I think the Real Madrid logo really pops out so nicely that you don't have to go monochromatic. It actually hides it a little bit more. Also the gray accents. I think I, I'm okay with the color here. But white gray and then the gray um, shoulder stripes, it's a little bit dull in a way, especially if you have that much white on there. And that's why I just saw I gave this seven stars and I stick with that. It's a nice shirt, but it's not perfect. I think uh, it could have been a little bit more exciting. Either go all black with the crest here or, um, you know, add a little bit more. You could add some white or even some purple if you wanted to. I mean, it's also blue, purple, whatever you have here on the crest, I think this is how you should go. And then the third jersey is more or less, we have seen this already with Bayern and we will see it now with uh, other teams too. Uh, I know Manchester United has a similar one, Juventus also, so those are in uh, to come. It's the same template unicolored with some weird striping, almost like what Nike is doing for their jerseys. And then just, you know, pick a color and you uh, stick a monochromatic crest on there. Uh, and in this case, it's red. I know there has been a red Real Madrid kit before, but I just don't think it red is a Real Madrid look. Uh, don't like it too much. I think red goes too much into the territory of Barcelona. Uh, is it offensive? No, it's just a red Real Madrid shirt and that's where I have uh, trouble with and for that I gave it only four stars. Now let's go, I'll skip Roma for now and I will go all the way to Russia, to Ceseca Moscow. We just ahead of the Champions League campaign uh, switched their supplier from Adidas to Ambro and they even had Adidas shirts ready for the Champions League or for the season and then suddenly they come with Umbro. And they issue three shirts, a uh, home shirt, which is, I don't want to say it's a classic CSK shirt, but you know, um, rather all red with some blue accents is better than if you have um, a blue version. I think that I like this uh, red 
better. I'm not so sold on where the blue shows up in a way. Um, you have the shoulder yoke is kind of, you know, it gets a little bit wider towards uh, the actual shoulder and then you have the blue piping around and a little bit on the front. Uh, that I think looks a little bit odd, I have to say. Other than that, it's a pr uh, plain red shirt. Yeah. It doesn't look exciting. I think there are many more Umbro kits uh, this time around that look actually exciting. So I'm only gonna give this five stars. It l tries to do a classic template, but it's I think fails at it. I do, however, like the away jersey, uh, which uses the same weird color, but now it's blue with a white opening. But I really like the center stripe in a yellow and red on the white jersey. Um, that looks cool and we saw this already uh, when they played in Pilsen with that shirt. I even like the piping uh, that separates kind of the shoulders from the torso of the jersey. And then there's um, the sleeve trims are also in red and blue. This one is a really nice shirt overall. Not crazy about the color, it's the same color as for the home jersey. Uh, but I really think this looks over quite nice and I'm gonna go with this, yeah. I think if the color was better, I would even go with this for uh, eight stars, uh, nine stars. Now I give it eight stars. I actually really like how the um, actually take into account that there is a sponsor and then there's a little bit of a fade in there. So kind of making sure, you know, we know this should continue and this is a nice um, stuff. So I'm gonna go eight stars with here. And then there's a third jersey, uh, which honestly doesn't fit very well with Jessica. Um, it is just orange with blue. Why orange? Couldn't we just have, you know, make a blue jersey? I think it would make sense. Uh, I know the orange is maybe right in between the red and the white, but honestly, if they would have a all blue, jerseys would look better. Um, this one, I don't get it why we have to have it in orange. So for that reason, yeah. Um, yeah, this is my least favorite. It has a similar layout as the home jersey and it doesn't use this weird shoulder yoke. But um, yeah, three stars only. This is not a great shirt. Well, and then let's move on into the Czech Republic after Republic shirts. Republic 2, Victoria, Pilsen, uh, which have actually been quite frequent visitors now to Champions League and European competitions. And they use a shirt that reminds me a lot about last year's Borussia Dortmund shirt. It's more or less the same uh, template by Puma. I think the uh, Dortmund didn't have the rugby style color. Um, Pilsen plays usually with red and blue stripes and now they, it's hor hor horizontal but fading. It's not a great look honestly. And then the sponsor and that's the share also with uh, Dortmund doesn't really fit in there. It's a little bit too colorful for my feeling, although it's more blue. Uh, but if the last square wasn't was red instead of green, I think I would like that better. But yeah, it's not a big, it, 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 it's at least a small sponsor and I actually like the uh, stripe down the sleeve. But overall, yeah, I just don't like this pattern. I make it vertically, uh, horizontal striping. I keep messing horizontal and vertically up. Make it full horizontal striping. Don't have this weird fade in the middle. Uh, that's what I wish wasn't there. And for that reason, I only gonna give this four stars. Um, the away jersey is <laughs> similar with Jessica. Orange with black, worn with black pants. Uh, very simple shirt. And honestly, yes, they use a full color crest, which is nice, but the sponsor then is Ugh. It doesn't fit in any way. Um, again, I think this is a, a weight jersey. It could be the third jersey. I can leave comments here. Uh, as an away jersey, not only doesn't it provide enough contrast, it just is completely out of character. Uh, and it's boring on top of that. Uh, it's a three star. Speaking of boring but sensible, uh, I actually like the away jersey the best and there's nothing exciting about it. It uses the Puma template that we saw at the World Cup, but a uh, plain white color, nothing added to it. The only thing that is adding some color is the crest and is the sponsor. Um, I wish maybe for a little bit more 
blue or red on there but then again this would probably mean that the color looks weird so maybe it's better for that as i said it's boring but it's probably the best one so it's five uh, stars for that and now yes i didn't follow the rules because the second city team in this group is of course roma and wearing my roma um 16 17 away jersey and their home jersey is an absolute beauty and yes it is the nike template and at first i thought oh it looks boring but if you've watched my serie a review you already know what i love about it it is the chain mail structure on the main part of the jersey uh throwing back to a roman soldier this is such a nice touch I absolutely love it. Also, you know, you, you cannot do much wrong if you just take the red shirt and then put the collar in yellow. Maybe some sleeve cuffs in yellow would have been better. I still would prefer this one here, or, uh, the 1415, over that one. But this one is a very close second. A really beautiful shirt. And the chainmail, I say it again, is just an awesome idea. Uh, so that I gave 10 stars. Then we have the away jersey in gray. You know, this is already kind of an ivory white, but gray, come on, it's boring. And the only thing that is exciting about this is the taping here on the back, which is in giallo rosso colors, and then has the little um, wolf's crest uh, back there. But it's just too little, it's too boring. I think they even use it with black numbers. Uh, given the black swoosh, I think they use black numbers for that, but I might be wrong on that one it's just boring at least full colored crest so i gave this a four star and i don't think it deserves more however the third jersey grew on me as ever i saw roma playing against milan in that one it made so much sense uh it is the other main club color and they use it way too little there was a time in the early 2000s when they were uh pulling out uh, some yellow shirts but mostly it was white or black uh, alternates and suddenly here is a yellow one and there are two nice features on there first of all the map of rome uh, kind of satellite image and then if you look very closely you see the wolf's head this wolf's head is superimposed on that so wherever this uh, the map changes a little bit of color and you wonder this is the wolf's head really love that feature Yes, the sleeves are maybe a little bit too uh, blank. The taping is, of course, in red. And the crest, yes, is monochromatic. It's uh, silver and red. But for once, it is okay. Yes, I wish that maybe the top was yellow and that you could see the Capitoline Wolf a little bit better. But overall, this is a really nice shirt, I think. This is the other third jersey of Nike this season that I well could imagine getting. I always wanted to have the Roma away jersey that was a year earlier than this one uh, with the, um, also the map of the city um, on the front. I think this one is a serious contender for, for that one and at the moment easier to get. Not sure if I will get it, but I actually really like this one. So I give this again a seven star. Well, that was it for Group F. Let me know what you thought about all these jerseys. They are really interesting jerseys in there i have to say that the two top teams have the nicer jerseys here it remains to be seen if roma oh, they had a bad start already at madrid madrid will run away with this group but yeah let me know what you thought about all these uh if you would rate anything differently give me a thumbs up if you liked that video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these and i'm gonna talk to you soon bye